There's a question I hear a lot from my students and colleagues that which graphic card I should buy and which would be the best for my work. And uh, I'm trying to uh, answer this question and, um, according to my knowledge and what I understand. So, so I will talk about uh, some cards which basically NVIDIA provides. I would prefer, uh, we have one more graphic card that is ATIs. I think I prefer NVIDIA's cards because um, their technologies I feel far better than now what ATI is producing. So uh, there are basically two series of cards. One is uh, one is a uh, Coro series and the other one is the G4 series. So I prefer to buy a G4 series for most of the works. So I should understand what is these two uh, series before. So what is a Coro card and what is a G4 card? Uh, people have different ideas about it. And it's according to NVIDIA, GeForce is a gaming card, and Codro is a workstation card. In terms of performance, always a GTX card will perform better than the same or the equivalent Codro card. GTX cards are nothing but they are overclocked, high performance cards. But only problem with these cards are, or the GeForce series cards are, they are not stable they are not stable in the sense you cannot use them for a very long run the long run in the sense consider you want to render something and it is going to take two weeks of time G4 series cards are not preferable because they are overclocked cards and they can produce a lot of heat and the other way the Codro series cards are more stable cards which you can use it on a studio environment continuously for months without having a problem of overheating or uh, crashing so for normal work I prefer GeForce cards because which are cheap because these are overclock cards and which can perform faster and it's a cheap solution for most of the entry-level professionals or even freelancers because the equivalent Codro cards will be very costly because they are not overclocked or they they are designed for a studio work which which uh, you can continuously run for days or months but most of us uh, will not be using graphic cards in such a way. We will be using graphic cards. Uh, we may be running uh, continuously for one or two days, uh, not uh, running tw 24 into 7 uh, for weeks and months. So if, if your usage is such a way that you are running 24 into 7 um, all days, I would prefer you to buy a Codro card. And the opposite way, if you, are, if you have a project and once you finish the project, you just you just you can shut down the machine and you can give some rest then I would prefer you can buy a GeForce card because I, I'm just the preference is nothing but because of this these both cards works with a processor uh, called uh, CUDA cores so they they work with a technology called parallel processing and uh, they have uh, multiple small processors in this so consider I buy a G I'm looking for something like a GTA 690 which is a top in that I'll take this which carries I'll go take the specification of this card which has a number of CUDA cores it's basically like number of processors which has this card which this card has this is three this carries 3072 CUDA cores and if you check one of the highest num uh, one of the top Codro cards which carries how many CUDA cores that carries only 448 CUDA cores so uh, this card will be far more faster than that the GeForce card will be far more faster than the Codro card but the Codro card will be far more stable than your GTX card so it's it's your choice whether you wanted a very stable card which can run for long long hours or you want much faster performance card which which is not very good it can or create overheating problems but um, from from my experience most of the cases if you have a good cooling system it works it works really good um, so uh, it's it's your choice now whether to choose and there is one more series which is called as uh, Tesla uh, if you are into uh, FX simulation and you do a lot of fluid simulations and uh, uh, if you are uh, if you are into such smoke fire and you wanted a uh, large FX simulations and you're working with a software which can take the hardware capabilities for these Tesla is one of the cards Tesla is not a card which helps you to have better display or 
better viewport performance tesla is only used for computation it is not only used in our field it is used in a lot of engineering visualizations it's mostly a computational car it can compute um, things faster than uh, other cards but it's not uh, something which is you can use it as a primary card for your wish uh, for your viewport visual viewport views or viewport performance that's it i think i have given you a little idea about uh, the graphic card series which is available and which one to buy thank you